it's pretty intense right now because it's it's still ongoing where a lot of times after four weeks or so, the season will start to wind down and this one just keeps going on and on. Dr. Alan Lieberman is an allergist at Austin Family Allergy and Asthma. He sees allergy sufferers daily, but when asked to compare this year's allergy season in particular, he says it's a pretty bad one. Lieberman says typically the oak pollen season starts in the beginning of April through the middle of May, but this year it started much earlier. The allergy season is starting earlier. And, uh, we, we certainly saw it this year where we were seeing really, really high numbers of oak pollen around spring break. So it's very, very unique, but it seems to be a, a, a new pattern that's occurring. CBS Austin meteorologist Austin Burks knows the weather like the back of his hand. He says weather alone plays a huge factor in how the allergy season will look. It's probably one of the or probably the biggest influencer to pollen because you have so many driving forces. You have the dry weather, you have windy weather, you have warm weather like we're seeing right now. That's why se like seasons matter, winter season and then spring season when everything's starting to bloom and blossom uh, from the rainy, uh, rainy season and stuff really is why pollen takes off and, and, and makes us our lives much worse. <laughs> Sure, rain is good during allergy season when it comes to how much pollen gets in the air. But once it's gone, other issues arise. When we see rain, it's our friend during pollen season and stuff. But once it gets done raining, the grasses, trees, all that stuff love it. So pollen just goes wild after that. Burke says we may start getting relief once the summer months hit. That's when the rain is not as big of a factor. Things start drying up and the pollen count goes back down. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.